Hey guys, it's Carter, and in today's video, we are diving in and looking at why the stock market is back, because today marks the day where they released the inflation report. Now, for those of you that don't know what pretty much what's been going on is over the past pretty much year to date, the stock market has been absolutely getting obliterated due to high interest rates and high inflation. And the reason why we've seen so much high inflation and everything has gotten more expensive is because to get through pretty much all the lockdowns and you know people not working pretty much from 2020 and 2021, they had to print money, right? Anytime they we print more money than we have, it virtually causes more things to become more expensive just because there's more money out in the economy. So over the past year, everything has gotten super, super expensive. We've seen inflation pretty much skyrocket. We've seen interest rates skyrocket to try to help calm the economy down. But today marks a great day for inflation, right? So pretty much what came out is the general market, right? And a lot of analysts thought that the uh, inflation report was going to be about 7.9%, which is still extremely high, but it's still better than the, some of the previous months like September, but it, it was actually 7.7%. So things are getting better. So if we look at this article here by uh, CNN, it explains it a little better, right? If we go ahead and we look, the the uh, 7 point sign, 7 7.7 annual price growth remained high, um, but it was better than expected, which is awesome. And the reason why is because the Fed is increasing, pretty much increasing the federal rates. So if you want to get like a loan, it's very, very expensive to do so. You know, a couple of years ago, the interest rates were what, two, three percent. Now we're looking at seven to nine percent for like a house loan. So they had to do that on purpose to pretty much calm the economy down because if they don't do that, then it's just a ticking time bomb. So pretty much what we've seen is stock futures this morning have surged up because of the great news on inflation and because of the midterm election came without uh, predicted the red wave. So a lot more Republicans in office, which historically Republicans have done very, very well, especially in the, um, you know, investing in the stock market. Uh, Bitcoin rebounded somewhat after the crypto market has melted down. Uh, Binance said Thursday it would not bail out FTX, causing chaos in dis digital assets. So right now, the Dow futures are up about 800 points. I think we're going to have a great rest of the week. We're going to have a good day tomorrow. And... Uh, well, a good day today and a good day tomorrow just because of these inflation reports. So answering that question of should you buy, I think we all should be investing in the S&P 500 right now. It's a great opportunity uh, to start picking up some shares because it's just going to be a matter of time before this thing starts rebounding. If we're getting great inflation reports and great you know, interest rates, um, I, I really think we're going to see the economy coming back very, very strong. It still may take some time. It still may take you know six months to a year. But as long as we're on that upward swing of things, everything's going to start panning out very, very well. Um, and another thing as well is we've seen virtually a whole bunch of stocks just get obliterated. You know, one like Google. Uh, Google makes a lot of their money off advertising. And you'll notice the stock has just been getting obliterated. But right now people are not spending like they used to and i think we're going to see a huge upward trend in a lot of these stock prices once we start getting better inflation um better interest rates and and all of those stuff because a bulk of the bulk of google's money comes from you know advertising and if these advertisers aren't making any money the first thing to get cut is marketing and that's where google makes a lot of their money guys so that's kind of what's going on. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Today marks a great day to start investing. But other than that, we'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, guys. Stay positive, And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And take care.